Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Um, the Bronx is open. Is that where you left that? Right? Okay. Absolutely right. Next slide. In the 20s and 30s, the movers and shakers of the Renaissance era traveled between the Bronx and Harlem. And they actually called the South Bronx Little Harlem. As they traveled between the two neighborhoods, they carried with them their cultural traditions, their spiritual practices, and yes, their magic. And they shared much of those practices with each other in important third spaces, like their local coffee shops. Today, the South Bronx has a problem. We have a severe deficiency of third spaces, like coffee shops, like bookstores, um, and that makes it really difficult for the community to come together and to thrive. We actually only have one brick and mortar bookstore. Shout out to Lip Art. But what if there was a place that could solve both problems while encouraging community engagement and highlighting the glorious and magical history of the Bronx? I present to you the Conjure Shop a Renaissance-themed cafe and bookstore that will focus on the magical history and the history of conjure and spiritual practices in the Bronx. The conjure shop will serve as an important third space for community engagement while highlighting Black and POC-owned coffee and tea brands and featuring books that are authored by POC individuals about the POC spiritual experience. The Conjure Shop decor will feature photos and plaques that highlight the stories of our spiritual practitioners, our ancestors, their famous clients, and even some of their notable foes. And our retail will focus on POC authored books that center around the diaspora practices of hoodoo, voodoo, espiritismo, and more. We will focus on classic rooms that we are all familiar with, but that are connected to New York City and Bronx history, like Mustela Coffee. Okay, okay. <laughs> but we will also focus on some new POC brands that are coming onto the scene, like Zora Hughes Roasting Company and the Bronx Roasting Company. We'll partner with them for features, events, sponsorships, and more. Now we're going to use a combination of revenue models that include your traditional wholesale to retail markup. We'll also include web and direct sales of our retail products online and person to person. And we will also take advantage of subscription-based membership models. So we can really build a community and a family experience for those members of the neighborhood that are our patrons. With this combined revenue model, I have forecasted that we will generate about $360,000 in revenue by our third year in operation. This is going to allow us to employ dozens of local folks to work in the shop, but also to be able to connect with folks for events to bring them in. One of the most important things we want to do is focus on being an attraction for the area, but beyond that, the revenue that we expect to raise will allow us to extend into other parts of the city, like New Rochelle, Harlem, and Brooklyn, where there are similar cultural and spiritual histories that need to be told. With the prize money that we win here today, we will be able to launch into the real estate and research process, which will allow us to find the perfect location. That's our number one challenge, and we'll be overcoming that by winning this competition here today.